Yeah. Yeah. So this is um, but, but hang on, the hang on. state and federal level again. Uh, last year, uh, I think it was January, actually almost two years ago now, uh, the state passed a bill, I forget what it was, but it was allowing biometric screening in all of our schools, children's schools, yeah. starting in July. Uh, there was no rebuttal, there's no question, nothing. How are they getting data? Where are they getting the data from? We now know with the PCR test that was just exposed by the CDC, that's where they're getting their biometrics from. Boom. So how, where are they, like it's, it's, it's an illegal search and seizure of our property. It's personal identifiable, uh, identifying information. It's something that uh, California cracked down on a little bit. But New York needs to be there too. We can't be walking around not knowing that our information is being stolen to use against us in any way, even just like selling you something they don't really want. But how, what do you think about uh, like really cracking down on the personal, uh, our digital identity? I mean, I, I'm in favor of it. I'm in favor of it. So what, what the real thing is, is it's gonna end up being this, gen this gentleman behind me right here. The state senate are the people that we really want to be engaging with. Um, unfortunately, I had the pleasure of talking with Senator Cooney on promoting a, a privacy bill. I'm so glad that uh, Chief Jim is running for that seat because when I brought this privacy issues up to Cooney, he had no clue what I was talking about. Um, I've been all over this stuff since it was the national ID card and now they've changed it, changed it to the enhanced identification and stuff like that. I, I am a very strong person as far as personal security and privacy of your personal information goes. A couple months ago, the city, uh, the city purchased these devices from the Department of Homeland Security that scan your license plate, and every single person on city council voted yes in favor of it. And I'm like, this is insane. All of this information is going back right back to the Department of Homeland Security. They're trying to use the biometric data. They're trying to use facial recognition in public areas. I'm completely and adamantly against that, and I'm already working on legislation against that. Okay, I'm not in office yet, but I'm already preparing it because that is dreadfully serious to me. Okay. Also, your information, all of your personal information, is yours. Okay. They are making tons of money off of your information, and you're not getting a cut. You're not even getting a say. And to me, that's exceedingly wrong. On top of that, you've also got the things, like you said about the PCR test, right? Okay, you said the PCR test. I knew that from the gate. This goes back to what happened when they were separating kids at the border, okay? I was like, don't let them try to reunite them with the parents because in order to do that, they're going to have to do mass DNA collection. And people are like, no, that's not going to happen. What did they do? Mass DNA collection. No government should be doing mass DNA collection on any group of the population. There shouldn't be segmented racial data. This is wrong. When the government starts doing like that, they're going too far into your personal footprint. And even talking about your DNA footprint, why, that's why is that dangerous? Look at the day and age that we live in, okay? This is bio-warfare, okay? We already see it with COVID-19, right? Is that not a biological agent, okay? We Wuhan. see what's going. We yeah, Wuhan, <laughs> Wuhan bio facility. You know, we, we laugh now, but how many of us said that it came out of a lab and were ridiculed for? It? Oh, yeah. you under you understand what I'm saying? And this is the stuff that we're not looking at. And I'm a big person that's very I'm very big into the military and war games and stuff like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I come from a strong military family. But seeing where that is and understanding how that bio information can be used to target specific people and specific segments of the population. They can spray something in the air and they can, let's just say, kill all the Italians. <laughs> is, it, is that really the direction that we want to go? If they collect all of this data on our biometric stuff, they can predict what you see. And this goes back to the Vax passes and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Len say what he feels on privacy in a second. This goes back to the Vax passes. Because that tracks where you go, who you're around, how long you're there, how often you go there. And it also tracks that about everybody else that's all around you. Okay? That massive data collection, that deluge of data is more than amply sufficient 
for them to be able to discern you as an individual, what you're most likely to do, what behaviors are most likely to influence you to move the way that they want, effectively making the government the hand of God. Okay? This is what we need to understand, you guys. This is dreadfully serious. Privacy is the peak. And all of these people here, Laron, our lovely lady judge, in the future, right? Coming soon. Absolutely. And Len, I believe very much care about privacy, and if they're and if you don't feel that they understand fully your concerns, please inform them because a lot of people don't know what you know. They don't have the foresight and vision that you do. You have to let them know how crucially important it is to your civil liberties. Thank you.